well uh, so far we discussed the properties of the profit function we discussed four property of the profit function in details in the previous lecture videos now we are in a position to uh, discuss something more about the profit function and its implication in microeconomics okay so now in this lecture video we are going to discuss the uh, derivation of supply function and demand function from the profit function so the question is can we derive the supply function and demand function from the profit function this is a very very important question and this is not a difficult question this is the easiest one the answer is yes for example if you are having the output supply function which is something like output is the function of price vector which repo which covers all output prices and input prices and suppose if you are interested in the profit function you can just substitute the definition of <coughs> output supply function in uh, in the profit function and so you obtain profit function for example you are profit is given by profit is a function of prices and this is equal to price factor time output supply function which is the function of the prices now the question arises if we are having the profit function can we derive the output supply function from it the answer is yes the question is how the answer is we can apply the hortling lemma so what is the hortling lemma let us discuss it the hortling lemma is also known as the derivative property of the profit function suppose the form net supply function is given by y i r p right that is the supply function for good i which depends upon the prices right then how can we obtain the supply function this supply function can be extract or can be derived from the uh, profit function by taking the derivative of the profit function that is partial derivative of profit function with respect to pi and for i is equal to i takes a value from 1 to n two point must be noted the first one is derivative must exist right and the second thing is pi must be greater than 0 so these two condition must hold that is the derivative must be possible right the derivative must exist and second prices should be positive it should be greater than 0 then we take the derivative the other point which is important to note that the derivative can be take with, taken with respect to prices of output as well as with respect to input. So this doesn't mean that we are taking the derivative of the profit function with respect to output prices, not at all. We can take the derivative of this profit function with respect to input price and with respect to output prices. So if we want to take the derivative of this function with respect to output prices only, then we will take we will get the output supply function however if we take the derivative of the profit function with respect to the input price we will get the factor demand function 